Welcome to Six Sigma Online Certifications. We are on the topic Six Sigma Fundamentals, the Six Sigma Matrix Part 1. In this video, we are going to cover various Six Sigma Matrix, which includes DPU, which is defects per unit, DPPM, which is defective parts per million, DPMO, which is defects per million opportunities, RTY, which is roll throughput yield, cycle time and lead time, COPQ which is cost of poor quality and sigma level which we'll cover in detail in measure phase. The first three metrics we'll cover in this video, this part of the video and the others in the next part. Before we understand six sigma metric, we need to understand the difference between defects and defectives. The defect is a requirement on the product not met or a specification not met while defective is a product which has at least one defect so what is defect per unit please understand this is related to defect ratio of number of defects to total number of observed pieces for example we have total 200 pieces the number of defective pieces is 27 it is not defect it is defective pieces so in these 27 defective pieces, we have 53 defects and therefore our DPU is total defects which is 53 divided by total pieces which is 200. So our DPU is 0 0.265. The next metric is defective parts per million which is number of defective parts in 1 million. Please note it is defective and not defect. Defective is a part which we have to understand which has a defect. So if there are 200 pieces, number of defective pieces out of 200 are 27, defects on 27 pieces is 53, but our metric is defective, so we are going to consider 27 as our criteria. So total defective parts is 27, total pieces is 200 multiplied by 1 million gives us DPPM of 135,000. We go to next metric which is defects per million opportunities. Note it is defect, defect per million opportunity and it is number of defects in million possible opportunities. We will first understand what is DPMO and then discuss little more about it. If total pieces are 200, each product can have maximum of 5 defects. Therefore, there, there are 5 well defined specifications which is required to be met on the product. So we can make how many defects in total in 200 pieces? 1000, 200 into 5. So number of defective pieces is 27 and therefore we'll consider in which defects are 53. So in 27 pieces we have 53 defects. So what is DPMO? Total defects 53. How many opportunities we had? 1000, 200 into 5. So 53 divided by 1000 into 1 million. So 53,000 DPMO is the value that we have calculated. DPMO for this process is 53,000. We need This is very interesting metric which actually is able to consider the complexity of the product. And therefore a less complex product has less opportunity whereas high com more complex product has more opportunities of creating defect. And therefore we can use this metric to compare any two different processes which have totally different opportunities for meeting defects. Thank you very much for your testing your knowledge on this video or for Six Sigma certification visit our website leandigit.com or for more videos on this topic subscribe our channel.